Welcome back to another Calvin video. Today, Calvin has his annual vet appointment and his checkup. Uh, also, he's gonna get a couple of shots. He's due for his rabies vaccine. He's gonna get his uh, Bordetella vaccine, I believe. Um, and also, I believe his distemper, next distemper shot. Um, I guess I'll find out when I get there. But uh, we're off to a, his appointment. Uh, last time we went to the vet, we found out that Calvin had a grade one luxating patella, uh, which is essentially just a slip in of the kneecap. Um, but it was very low grade, and uh, I'm sure the doctor will check that out and let us know any updates on that. So I will uh, let you know how Calvin does when he gets there and uh, try to film his examination. So I'll see you guys soon. Okay, come on. All right, we made our way to the vet and Calvin whined the entire way in the car, not because he's afraid to come here, but I think he was excited to get to his destination. See you guys inside. <coughs> you at the vet office? All right, Calvin, so you're getting a few shots. Your weight was 23.1 pounds. You were down 1.9 pounds from your last visit. That's amazing. That's awesome. That means uh, I can give you one extra treat later. Uh, but you got your rabies shot coming, your wellness visit, your kennel cough, and something else you said. So hopefully you'll be a good boy for that. Calvin's growing impatient. Not really sure that he wants to be here much longer, but you gotta wait for the doctor, honey. You gotta wait for the doctor, for the vet. You hear the doctor, your head tilting. You hear her? Is that Dr. Murdoch? Who's that? So this is a nice little chart to tell you how much your dog should weigh at an ideal weight based on their size. So if I look at Calvin, uh, uh, no clue actually. I'll have to look, I digest this a little bit more closely. Hi, All right, Calvin, boy. getting your heartworm test. <laughs> You're a good pressure. boy. I don't look at you like Calvin. Oh, buddy. <laughs> you I do, know Kev. it. Good I job, Calvin. Calvin. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, there's right there's here. Dad. There's Dad. I'm right here. Oh, nice God. job. Hey, no, we're just fine, my so brave. Oh, I know, buddy. I know. Calvin. You gotta hold it. You're good, you're good, good boy. Oh you my goodness. Hold it together. What a good boy. I nice know. job. So nice job. So nice job. That was just one, though. <laughs> no one of many. He'll be good. You're good, you're good. Look at you. You're a brave boy. <laughs> nice job. All right, Calvin, that was a little traumatic for you, I understand, but you'll survive. You got a couple more of those coming your way before the doctor comes in. I bet I know you'll handle it like a champ. Thanks for wishing me in. Good job, buddy. <laughs> I'm right here, Cal. Alright, let's spin you. Yeah. Yeah. You're you're cool, Cal. You're good. You're doing a great job. And he's getting around okay, no lameness or anything that you've noticed? No, no lameness. I know the last time he was here, um, he was sort of diagnosed with like a grade one luxating patella. Okay. Um, but the doctor said you know, she wasn't concerned about it, obviously, at this stage, and he doesn't show to favor anything. Okay. So, I think he's good. Yeah, I don't feel it. I can't slide it out of place currently, so that's Okay, good. all right, well, that's good. That sometimes can happen with trauma, like if they traumatize it somehow. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Any lumps or bumps on him that you noticed at all? No, okay. not that I noticed, no. Do you, you don't feel any, do you? I don't feel any, no. Good. And how about his tail fold? Does he have any issues back there? Or? Nope. No? Nope. No, he's pretty good, actually. 
he drools a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah, especially, especially with like food. Oh mm -hmm. man, it's really bad. Sometimes it's like waterworks. If I'm eating like something, he'll literally like it'll be. It's actually kind of gross at times. <laughs> He's like Saint Bernard style drool. <laughs> Doing a good job, Cal. Great job. Good job, bud. You're getting a lot of attention. You don't usually get this much attention from more than one person at once. All sound good? All right, so I'm just hearing a little tiny bit of a heart murmur on him. Okay. okay. Very, like a grade one out of six. Okay. Um, I'll have to look back, but I think that's probably new for him. I think yeah. so. He's good. not on a grain-free diet or anything, right? He's definitely oh, okay, not. Okay, good. No, he's not yeah. on grain-free. Right, I feed him Merrick, uh, it's like chicken and rice. Yep, good, good, okay. Yeah, yeah definitely not. There's a look at him good. He's just got a little bit of grind, mainly in that right ear. Okay. Any recommendations to clean that out? Yeah, I would get a good ear cleaner because you want one that has a drying agent in it. Okay. Just put it on like a cotton ball or like a cotton round and you can just wipe the ear out. Okay. So it's all kind of sitting on the back of the... Oh, yeah. All that right there. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what... Is that just... Uh... These guys tend to be on the waxier side, so I'm not surprised to find this in here. Okay, yeah. Is he fussing with his ears at all? Like, you no, know, but you know what, that's... Um, wow, that's, that's an eye-opener. I'll have to definitely clean that more often. Yeah, I've never noticed that before. Now for the grade one heart murmur, what like what's the recommendation for that? So what we'll do is I would recommend having it rechecked in a couple of months, all okay. right, and just seeing if it's changed at all. We can certainly set up a cardiac ultrasound. We have a um, a specialist come in and he does an ultrasound of the heart just to see exactly what the problem is. Most of these small dogs, it tends to be a mitral valve issue. Yeah. So as they get older or even even younger, it doesn't really matter. It can happen at any age really, but the valves of the heart, instead of slamming shut, one will get a little sloppy. And so as all the heart's getting pumped out, some of it will seep back in. So we hear like a okay. whoosh noise. And his is very mild at this point. There are some dogs that will have come in and we hear a murmur and it's just because of stress. So that's also a possibility okay. since he is tremoring a little bit here. Yeah, it could be um, that. But yeah, we usually check it and make sure that we're it's repeatable. And then if it is, then we go ahead and get the ultrasound scheduled, especially if it sounds like it's getting louder. And things for you to watch for at home are episodes of like shortness of breath, like he's tiring more easily if you're running around, um, coughing, any episodes of collapse. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I haven't noticed anything like that. At all. Okay, that really looks good. Can we get the computer on this first? Oh my gosh, good job, boy. Doing a great job, Calvin. Here we go. Now it's time for the fun part. <laughs> Got a couple of pokes for you, buddy. You'll be good. You mm -hmm. just did one already, so now you're used to it, right? Good job. Look at you. You're so brave. Nice job, Calvin. Look at you go. Good job, bud. Good job. All right. Painless. One more. We got a little drink for you. All right. Mm -hmm. Good boy. I know. Calvin, it's a. Uh, I know. Good job. I'm sorry. You did it. Good yeah, job. He's usually pretty good. Like, look, like, when I try brushing his teeth, it's. It's hard, not because he fights me, it's because he'll literally lick all the toothpaste right, off before I can even like scrub his teeth with it. All right, that's another appointment in the books for Calvin. He just had his annual checkup and a bunch of shots. So this vet visit went a little bit 
different than some of his other ones. Um, his luxating patella actually seems to be fine at this point, which is nice. But as you heard in the video, the doctor said he has a grade one heart murmur, which he's not too concerned about right now, but we're gonna come back in three months and have that checked out just to make sure everything's good. Uh, as you saw, Calvin was very brave again, very proud of him, and uh, he'll get rewarded with a nice treat. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell, and we'll see you guys in another video. Take care.